Hi everyone, I'm back from my vacation. I'm a little bit under the weather, so my voice is kind of froggy. And I want to make an original page today, and I'm going to use again all the little bits of leftover napkins that I have. I'm trying to uh, diminish uh, all, all this uh, stash of uh, leftovers. And I'm going to be starting with this sunflower that I really like. And I want to uh, take out this shape. I'm going to use a thin uh, brush with water to take out the, the image. I'll just put a bit of water here. And gonna take it and trace around my sunflower to take it out like so I don't want straight edges right now so that's the method I'm uh, using otherwise I would have used a uh, scissors doesn't have to be completely accurate I just wanted a uh, more of the sunflower than the background that it had and I'm going to take white glue simple white glue and put it down let's see I'm working on a what you call a paper 190 uh, grams per uh, page and I'm thinking like this and I'm going over it and smoothing it uh, out not in terms of uh, wrinkles I like wrinkles I'm just trying to get a uh, the air bubbles out and I'm going gently so I won't drag it and rip it just uh, glue everything down so uh, let's see now what can I use now uh, maybe this I don't have a real uh, concrete plan I'm just going to start I want to um, to cut a leaf or petal shape out of the napkins I hope I'm in frame so you can see what I'm doing like so so now I've got two like this and I want to start going around my sunflower and laying down these pieces so I'm going to cut quite a lot of uh, these petals and we'll see how it goes as I said not real uh, planning Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to uh, cut a lot more pieces and then I'll come back and we'll continue. I'll be back. I'm back. So I've got here a uh, cut out uh, petals from one napkin and I've already cut another from this napkin. And I'm thinking maybe I'm going to alternate between the two napkins now and just laying down a glue here and I'm starting like this and as I said I want interest so I want to change in between the napkins like so so and I 
I don't really care what I have uh, on each petal. It's just like laying down color. It doesn't really matter what I've got on each. So it's going to take a while and I will have to find more uh, from my uh, leftover uh, napkins to cut more petals because I want to go all over this page in the same way and so as I said it will take some time and I will have to find more napkins that I would like to go with it and it needs a little bit of patience <laughs> this kind of a uh, thing I think I already done a, a video about it uh, I think it was uh, making mandalas with uh, paper napkins and I think it's from like three years ago and if you had seen how I how I filmed uh, that video you would have uh, just wet your pants from laughing I didn't uh, even have um, a smartphone and the camera was awful and I had a stack of boxes like here uh, to my right and I had to to take a uh, makeup sponges uh, you know the triangle ones so I could um, make it tilt and so it will uh, get the whole uh, area that I wanted to film and it was just laughable and everything was uh, like uh, wobbling because of the uh, makeup sponges and I didn't know what to say I still don't I have a problem with that and it was just awful. I've got several videos from three years ago and they are just awful. I'm thinking about just deleting them, but I, I'm i not sure. So they are still out there and the, the volume is awful. You can hardly hear me and I think I also was out of frame most of the time. Just... <laughs> what can you do even now I'm using uh, my smartphone and it's stuck on some kind of uh, what can or do I call it some kind of lamp uh, that has a uh, three sections of an arm that I can uh, move uh, in all kinds of angles so that's what I'm using. Don't really have a video camera, just my smartphone. And that's what I'm working with. So, this is it. And I'm going to continue. And when I finish this, I'll find more uh, from my leftovers and I'll come back. I'm back and I've got more uh, petals cut out of uh, paper napkins I've cut from this one I've got now lots of uh, yellows uh, greens and uh, light blue on my cutouts and I've got here some uh, from this paper napkin and I'm going to start with uh, this and I'm just going to do the same thing I've done before I'm going to put down piece after piece uh, of these petals and I'm overlapping uh, the pieces. I think uh, it's uh, a lot more interesting because paper napkins have some kind of transparency and it just makes uh, everything more uh, interesting to me at least and as you can see I'm just picking out pieces and putting down 
not really thinking about it. I am just playing around, so to speak. <laughs> so here we go. Just the same method all over again. And I do try a, and change, like if I've got a petal with uh, lots of yellow, then I'll try to put down uh, another one next to it that it doesn't have a lot of yellow. But otherwise, I'm not planning anything, just want interest and color. So I'm going to continue with this and I'll be back. I'm back. So I've got at least one more, I think, row or two to put uh, on this page to cover it. And from my past experience, I know that I need something for the corners because I'm going like this. So I'm first going to put something here in the two corners and I'm going to use again a paintbrush with water just to take a piece out of this paper napkin and let's see I'm thinking let's take it like this and if I want the corner yeah something like that <laughs> I've cut more petals uh, from two different napkins in green colors and I'm, uh, I want to put down green then uh, maybe to alternate with this uh, uh, turquoise and that's, it's, that's going to be what I'm going to put down. Only after everything will be uh, dry, I'll trim all the edges. Right now I'm just laying down everything and now I'm thinking I'm going to start from the top instead of uh, one side and just laying down the pieces. So as you can see, I've got my work uh, cut out for me and it's going to take quite some time and I'm not doing anything new, just again going back and putting down pieces. Here we go. So after I'll do uh, all this uh, greens and yellows, I'm uh, going to do the, I think it would be the last row of, uh, with this uh, turquoise. So I'll be back. I'm back. So everything is dry and I only added a, a strip of paper napkin here because I didn't want wa uh, white between the petals and this corner and I'm going now around the edges of my page and just 
adding uh, ink I'm using is makeup sponge and this is walnut stain distress ink by Tim Holtz and I can all I thought I trimmed all the excess and now I see more okay so I'm going around my page just to frame everything and first I thought that maybe I'll put some words or if some focal point but I really like this page as is so I'm leaving it be sometimes you just you don't need uh, all the extras so as you can see I'm putting down a quite a bit of ink on the edges and going in not only on the edges I'm really darkening a uh, the outer side of my page and I'm thinking that I want it even more uh, pronounced more in your face so <coughs> and my throat is killing me <coughs> sorry uh, I'm going to take now black and do the edges so I've got brown in and now I'm going to take the black and I'm going and make it more strong now maybe you can see it but if you try it you can see that it does make a difference and you don't have to but I really wanted it and more more pronounced more dramatic whatever <laughs> more framed I don't know so this is it that's my page and I'm losing my voice so I'll be uh, saying goodbye and thank you for watching uh, thank you for leaving me comments below and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now